you're looking now at historians of the Tory party and indeed history of the Tory party. The current Tory party is in such epic disarray that nobody can make head nor tail of it. Um, do you think that Nadine Dorries might be coming back? Give her a seat in the Lords? Make her Chancellor? I'm joking. Or am I? Fen's in T-Bay in Cumbria. Fen, what would you like to say? Hi, James. Hello. Hi. Um, thanks for speaking to me. You're very welcome. Uh, I'd just like to say I'm really glad to see Cameron back. Good. Yeah, personally. Um, I'd like, I've, I've got a bit of an issue with uh, your attitude towards David Cameron. Fair enough. And uh, it's quite a common attitude, I yes. find, in the country. He's kind of the poor guy and the, the bit of the bogeyman when it comes to Brexit. Um, and I think it's just worth remembering that, you know, like you said, the first time he came into power, it was with a coalition, right? He dominated that coalition and he did the austerity stuff and brought all that in. And uh, that was for a, a very specific reason, right? Which is, I bet you you can tell me what that is. Well, you want me you... to tell you what you're saying to me? We're to... No, I don't want you to tell me what you're saying to me, but... I can tell you. So they brought austerity in because uh, our AAA credit rating was under threat, I believe. Is well, that right? That would be part of the rationale, but no, no, other, rationale. no other country yeah. cut public spending back as far as we did, despite the fact that the 2008 financial crisis was global. And you'll remember, yeah, you don't need me to tell you that Alistair Darling and Gordon Brown had already got things back on a fairly good footing and we were moving very much in the right direction by 2010, but they undid all yeah, of but that. Only, only through quantitative easing. Well, that carried on under Cameron. Absolutely. But yeah. that was not a long-term plan. The long-term plan was to get this country back into the black. How's that now, working out? Well, it isn't because he's not in power anymore, is it? Well, he had five years. He had, he had five years. How long do you think yeah, he needed? He had five, he had, what do you mean? Six, how long did he six years. <laughs> six years. Yeah, you're, you're, that's absurd. Like okay. to, no, to I, I, why is that absurd? How long were... You, you're I, asking, you were expecting him, you're expecting a government to be able to come in and, and get the country back into the black in five years. No, you are. Is that what you're... No, that's what you just I said. don't think it was about getting the country back into the black. I think it was ideologically driven slashing of public services because of free market ideology that l makes them look at things like spending money on healthcare and education for ordinary people as an unnecessary expense. You're the well, one that's... You're, hang on a minute, wrong. pal. You're, you're the one that wrong. said... No, you're the no, one no, that no, said no, it was no, designed... No, you are the one that said it was designed to get the... Well, you can keep talking, Fem, but I'm examining what you've well, said out loud. you're the same thing, mate. You're not even letting me actually say anything. Like, what you're saying is what... OK, so here's the question. How long would it have taken for David Cameron to get the country back into the black, do you think? I can't remember because I didn't have... I don't have those statistics in how, front how of me. How convenient. And what do you think the well, major... break? I'm what, in my kitchen, what, mate. What do you, you know think... I mean? that, no, you're on national radio, Fan. What do you think the major <laughs> breach with David Cameron's economic policies was that Theresa May uh, and David... And uh, t uh, what's his chops? Boris Johnson brought in. What was the major change to austerity that they brought in, do you think? By... What was the major change to it? Yeah, because you said well, he only had six years, and I'm pointing out that they, they carried on the same course. Yeah, because, because Hammond and May yes. decided to abandon that policy right, and, they, move, and, right. and stopped worrying, and they went further into this debt. This is absolutely so they astonishing. Took, they took our country further into debt. Right. And further and further into debt. Yes. And they just carried on printing money and putting the pound further and further into debt. But Cameron reality, was doing that as well. But only on a with a short-term plan. But you just you told me that you couldn't talk about five years because it was too short a term plan to talk about, and now you're saying yeah, it was a short-term short, plan. No, no, too short a term in terms of in this terms of brilliant. quantity. Okay, well then, briefly, how, how long would David yeah. Cameron have needed, do you think, to get the country into the black flag? Well, David Cameron or anybody fantastic. else. Fantastic. Are you related to him? Else, anybody else would All have right. took like 15, 20 years. Calm down, That's dear. the mess that we got left in. Yes. The, the Labour Party and the NHS Here it is, is the second biggest employer in the world. And it had the highest ever patient satisfaction levels. Brilliant. Well, that is you quite know. a good thing, isn't it, Fen, mate? Well, that is a good thing, yeah. Right. But obviously that is a good thing. We want, a, we want an NHS that works. But there were too many people working for it, were there? Well... There's too many. There's too much money getting spent on it. Right. That was the problem, okay. and we couldn't, as a nation. So it had, so, so it had nothing to, to do with debt. Then it had nothing we to do with debt. You just felt there was too much money being because, being spent on the NHS. Yeah, because that's money that was on debt. That right. Was money that the, and they're now spending more than ever. 
Yeah, because they're forced into that. And they carried on there. spending year on, on year. Cameron spent more on the NHS than, than he did the year before. Every single year he was in power. But he's your right. man. Talk me through that in your kitchen. Yeah, I will, yeah. Basically, like, the plan of Cameron, Osborne and Cameron had a plan to get this country back into the black. Don't change Agreed. the subject. They spent exactly. more on the NHS year exactly. on year than they did the year before. So Cameron how, are, how are they cutting spending? To get this country back into the black. Well, you're going to have to answer the question, Fenner, or admit you're that you've soiled yourself on question, live radio. Mate. You're not answering my question. Uh, mate, it's my show. How do you explain <laughs> a reduction in NHS spending when it went up every year? How do I explain a reduction in NHS spending? Is there an echo? I don't. I can't. But you just told me that's what they did. Well, they did reduce them. I said that they tried to reduce the debt. I didn't. Say no, you didn't. You NHS said they were spending, spending too much money on the NHS and they had a plan to fix it. How did they fix it? By spending more every year. Right, well, I don't know. I thought we had a problem with the NHS and they, they weren't spending enough money. Can I keep asking you the question until either you answer it or hang up? OK, well, give me a second. I'll have a look. Doesn't work like that. That counts, that, again, that counts as hanging up. No, I'm not hanging up. I'm still here. What was the question again that you want me to answer? How does spending more money each year on the NHS equal cutting spending on the NHS? It doesn't, does it? Thank you, Fen. Have a great day. <sighs> uh, no, come back, actually. Give me in a sentence why David Cameron's a good appointment. Why he's a good appointment? There's another echo. Basically... Cameron, yeah, is not responsible for Brexit. No, why, why, is why is he a good appointment? Why is he a good appointment, Fen? These aren't trick questions, mate. Why is he a good appointment? Oh, my because God, the echo again. Do you want to sit down? Do you want to sit down and try again in your kitchen? He... Huh? Why is he a no, good appointment? Why is he a good appointment? Because he's a good politician. Right, and the proof and of that is... Best, he's the best Conservative politician we've had. And the proof of that is his greatest achievement was... Uh, winning two elections. Right. But as a politician, his greatest achievement was, in policy terms... In policy terms, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. And yet here you are, in front of nearly one and a half million people. Yeah, but I still think that Cameron's the right no, thing. I no, you... Th I know what you think. I'm just yeah. demonstrating you have absolutely no basis for it whatsoever. Live on the radio. Yeah, well, that's fair enough, mate. I know. But I, uh... I what? think I haven't. If I had access to more statistics, you've got um, access to all the statistics I've got yeah, access but I to. Just said there, I'd like to go one to policy you success. Said that was the same of hanging up. You one, po one, one but just give me one policy one. success. Go on, one. One policy success. Um, I'm trying to think, mate. I can't think off the top of my head. That's all right. Take your time. Ah, I, I'll tell you one thing. I did like it's only a little thing. Is so just before you say it out loud, be before you say it out loud, remember people are listening. And this is yeah, the culmination of the whole call. It's, well, that's, that's because you're ending it. You're, you've dictated it's, it's the It's time call. for the break, Fen. It's 11.45. Yeah. I've given you more time Basically. than anyone else today. Go on, give us the big win. Don't hog the middle lane. Pardon? <laughs> Don't hog the middle lane. What are you having for lunch? I haven't decided yet, mate. I hope it goes better than this. <laughs> 